This is day one, episode seven of my modular journey and the end of day one. So everything you've seen so far has been about the very first purchase. I purchased the MM MIDI, the Intelligel outs, Pamela plates and rings, all from Perfect Circuit, that first, uh, first purchase ever. And the last thing in that particular batch was this thing called Monsoon by Mr. Siri. I have no idea who Mr. Siri is. I can't find any information on the entire internet about a Mr. Siri. But whoever he is, his uh, Monsoon is fantastic. So what this basically is, is a Mutable Instruments Clouds clone. So again, part of the reason why I'm a fanboy of Mutable Instruments is their open source concepts. Uh, their philosophy, I guess, where their schematics are open source, uh, all their software, all their, you know, the software in, in each module is open source. So people, you know, smart people, way smarter than me, are able to take that information and build their own versions of these mutable instruments modules and then enhance them and change them and make them even better. So who, do, who wouldn't like that, right? Uh, also, Clouds was huge. Uh, and, and so you can see that all these clones are, are thinner, so that, that helps save real estate in the rack. What Monsoon is, is uh, again, a clouds clone on steroids, a granular processor uh, that basically creates textures by combining overlapping, uh, delayed, transposed, and enveloped segments of sound. That's as smart as I can get by reading the book. The source of, of the grains that it creates come from the input jacks. So a sound coming into it gets recorded, and then it basically takes little slices of those of that audio called grains, and depending on the density of the of the slices, uh, can make these overlapping or granular textured sounds. So I'll show all that real quick in a sound demo. What I really wanted to use it for day one was just to give myself a little reverb at the end of my uh, at the end of my chain. Because, you know, who doesn't love a little reverb? Then once I started exploring all the granular stuff, it's pretty amazing the different kinds of effects you can get out of this little box. And then I learned that there's, uh, there's actually four modes to, to Monsoon, all by itself, four modes, uh, where it has this granular processor mode, and then it also got a pitch shifter mode, delay loop mode, and something about spectral madness. I'm not sure what that's all about, <laughs> but... <laughs> Uh, but then this also came uh, preloaded with, uh, with a firmware version called uh, Parasites. So that also added Oliverb and uh, a Resonestor, which is basically turns this into a similar uh, thing to rings. But anyway, let me plug some of this stuff in. Let me nail it to the board and give it some power. All right, so with Monsoon racked, uh, I'm going to again move the outputs one more chain down. Actually, uh, no, this is, where, this is where we change things up a little bit. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I still want rings coming into the uh, mixer. I'm going to move rings to channel two, though. I'm going to take another set of audios. And I'm going to come out of plates. This is where I'm going to show off what the mixer really does. So now the uh, mixer has plates on channel one, rings on channel two, but the output down here, I want to bring up to the input of, of uh, Monsoon. So let me find my wires, hold on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the output of the mixer down here. To then bring a sum of, of both of these noisemakers into Monsoon, the out of Monsoon will then come to the out of uh, outs over here to go to the mixer. All right, so let's hit the power. Let everybody boot up. All right, so just for a quick recap, I basically have audio out, audio out. To the, to the mixer, mixer to monsoon, out of monsoon to the outs, which goes to the Mackie or the DAW. So that's the signal flow. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me start this gently, make sure I'm not blowing my brains out. All right, it's a little chaos right here. We'll, we'll dial this in. 
But basically, I hear uh, I hear rings. You know, that's rings plucking away, sounding beautiful. And then here's uh, plates doing some chaos. So let me give these some volume, and then I'm going to bring in the reverb. I need to fix that, don't I? That's not terribly musical. Let's let's take plates out for, for just a moment and listen to rings. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds beautiful. So uh, more on what Monsoon can do in future episodes. Uh, Again, none of these are really deep dives. So uh, I just want to kind of show real quick how I plan to use these things. Uh, Monsoon uh, was uh, about 230 bucks, I guess. And, uh, and basically, that's kind of why uh, I chose it. It was uh, inexpensive. It was a Clouds clone. And the demos, of course, on the internet showed it you know, sounding fantastic. And it's lived up to its reputation. Uh, it's definitely been the probably the most amazing end of my chain that I've got so far. Um, I spend a lot of time, more time uh, tweaking and messing with Monsoon than I do pretty much everything else because, you know, once I set up the oscillators and their sequencing and whatever, they're, they're set. But this guy, I can then get in there and start tweaking and twisting and, and making some pretty amazing noises with it. So uh, more on uh, Monsoon later. Uh, but for now, that's the end of episode seven. And this concludes day one purchases. So coming up next, uh, we'll start the day five episodes with Mutable Instruments Marbles. See you then.